doing so many projects and we can't talk about all of them. Um, you went from punk to rock to blues to hard rock. You made almost everything, so you must have very fond memories of everything you done, but which era do you think was where you have the most fun? Ah, how could I say? Um, hmm. You know, the most fun, the most fun. That's a really hard question, you know, because they, they're all so different. I mean, being in the Plasmatics was a, a great experience, just being in that kind of a band and living that kind of a lifestyle. It was so real and something that I think was essential to my growing into being who I am now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that, you know, it was a lot of work in the Plasmatics. It wasn't always fun, you know. We had a manager that was difficult. So I can't say that that was really fun, but it was a great experience. Let's put it that way. And um, it was fun being on stage. It was fun playing for the fans. That's always fun, no matter what you do. You know what I mean? But sometimes you have the stuff in the back that can be difficult. Um, I'd say probably the most fun and extravagance I've had has been my solo record. All right. Even though, you know, that's hard to, when I say that, it's because I think it was the 80s. It was a time of extravagance. It was the time where I didn't, I hadn't done so much yet. Um, I had a pretty big success, you know, fairly quickly when I did that. So I got a lot of things out of it. You know what I mean? So and it was, you know, anytime you do things for the first time, you know what I mean? <laughs> first time in big studios, first time doing this, first time doing that. It's really exciting and fun, you know, meeting your first Swedish girlfriend, <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> like, you know, all that stuff, you know, was, was fun. And, but then again, you know, being on tour with Crown of Thorns, we have a great time. The band is fun and we always have a great time. And Tommy's been with me ever since the solo records into Crown of Thorns. So yeah. anytime you're out playing and in front of fans and doing a thing, it's fun. It's, it's hard to really say that there was only one time that was fun and, now I'm not having any more fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, you know, nowadays the, the music business has changed a lot. You know, in the 80s, all were wild parties, big production videos, bands selling million records. And the, the image of the rock star was bigger because we didn't know all the details of their lives, you know. It was like a kind of mystery around the image of the rock star. And now we have Facebook, we have Twitter, and we even know what brand of toothpaste Paul Stanley or Gene Simons use, you know? So do you see this as a problem? Do you miss the old days? Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I think it's different. Unfortunately, we have to go with the times because since that's become the new trend, that's what people want to see. People want to know. They seem to be more excited about knowing the everyday life of people than the bigger than life thing. I've yeah. always been a fan of the bigger than life thing. That's what I grew up with. I grew up with, you know, Kiss being gods and, you know, Led Zeppelin and all these bands that were just so much bigger than life. Um, I think that that's what made rock stars. And I think that that's what made people, what gave rock stars value and why people wanted to go see them and have their records and have posters on the wall and all this because they were something that was bigger than life and something that would take them out of their everyday, you know, normal thing. So I think, I don't think it's the great thing, but I think we, unfortunately, we have to accept it. And, and that's the way it is, you know, um, you know, but um, I, I miss some of the, the bigger than, than life thing. I do. And I think maybe it can come back to a certain extent. It's just based on, what the artists decide to tell people or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know? All right. And um, well, image was a big part of that and it's very important in the business. Um, also to you, um, because I read that you felt very strange when you shaved your mohawk. That was your trademark, you know? So do you, do you still miss it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do, and believe me, I've thought a few times about bringing it back because you don't realize it's, uh, yeah, it was a big part of who I was, you know, and of course, like you said, because now, you know, when I had the Mohawk, yeah. my life was just that. It was just 
doing music and and um, going on tour and making records and you know because budgets allowed to do that. Uh -huh. But now you find yourself doing a lot of different things, and sometimes uh, you know it, it's not the same. You know, so you kind of the Mohawk was I don't know it just. It just got, it wasn't working. I wasn't touring that much anymore. I was involved in producing, I was writing, I was doing all these different things. Then I started doing a company with Steven, you know, so it was just, um, it just didn't feel right. But I do miss it. I miss it because I, I like the bigger than life image. But, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm still who I am. You know, I think it's just something within myself because you'll see other people and they'll say, it doesn't matter that it's gone. You are still who you are and that doesn't change anything. You're not, you know, your life is not based on your haircut. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think this is your first time playing in Spain with Crown Torn. So, how do you think the show will be? Are you saving something special for the show or something? Well, we're always saving something special. We try to give everything we can whenever we do a show. But I'm really excited about Spain. It, the, the reaction has been great, you know, uh, from the press, from everybody, from last tour. It's been really good. So, I mean, you know, I have always loved Spain. It's like, I remember being there with Bruce last year or a couple of years ago, and I was like, I've got to come play in Spain. Yeah. They just have too much fun in this country. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you, tell me some, can you tell me something about the set list? What are you playing recently? Okay. Um, it's going to be a combination of things. I'm not going to give you all the, all the song titles, but we're going to be playing some... Some of the older Crown of Thorns stuff from the debut, some more recent stuff. Um, we're actually going to play probably a couple of Voodoo X things. Oh, cool. And that came from requests, if you want to know the truth. I probably wouldn't have done it, but, uh, you know, Spain, for some reason, has been asking, well, how come you're not playing Voodoo X? How come you're not playing solo? Blah, blah, blah. You know, so we'll probably do a couple of Voodoo X things, and um, I might even throw in a Ramon song that I wrote, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Something you know, to believe in? Ah, <laughs> I think so. I'm, I'm a big fan of the Ramones, you know. Um, when, I, when I heard that you read those, those songs, uh, I mean, you know. I never had the chance to talk with some of the Ramones. Well, with Mark and Ramon, but, but then talking to you is like, you know, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's very, very big. Um, well, I love the band. I love the band. So that's what we're planning. That's what we're planning. And we just hope it goes as well as possible. I never...